Sup, human race, this is RTTTA, and I am Garrett Williamson, your research guy. Yeah, I'm working on the uh, intro, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Although I do say I'm your research guy, today I'm not really going to be going into researchy stuff. I'm more of just going to be talking about me and a couple of things that are actually a lot more obvious to the world right now. So first off, I wanted to say, hope you all had a great Easter. I had a good Easter, hopefully you did too. And now we go on. So, what's today? Today is April 14th, which is the same day that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, Titanic sunk, and uh, FDR's funeral. Guess what else it is? My birthday! I know, greatest day to have my birthday on, right? And now we go on. I also just wanted to say that uh, over here, I have added to my collection, although it might be a little unfocused, so it's a little hard to see, we have a little uh, Fantasia Mickey Mouse here. Mickey Mouse from Sorcerer's Apprentice walking around and then on the other side we have something that came with it which is the broom, the walking broom with the water and I'm pretty proud of those two collectibles and there's that. Next I wanted to speak of a project I've been working on for a good two years now and you've already seen a preview of it which was a one minute preview song of set me on fire from the edge of the universe album and edge of the universe will be coming out within a month from now if if it's delayed anymore i'll tell you on my show and i'm really excited because this is the first time i've ever put something up which is going to be you know on itunes some somewhere that you sell something you know I've, before this everything that i've done has just sort of been out there to the world so this is my first official you know like commercial project that i've been doing and a couple of people have asked me am i with a record label no i am not with a record label this is an independent project maybe sometime later i will be with a record label, but for now, it is just me. This is just an independent project. And now I will quickly talk about something that was requested from someone last week. Someone requested that I do a top 10 video games list. Well, I suck at sorting out my top 10, and I don't really have a top 10 anyway. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna sort of name video games that I really enjoy and are some of my favorites. Pac-Man. You already know where this is going, right? Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. The old Donkey Kong arcade game from 81. Super Mario 64. It's becoming obvious I like Mario. Uh, and then you've got stuff like, you know, Sonic 1 for the Genesis back in 91. You've got Sonic 2, Sonic 3. Those are all great. Then you've got Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. Those are all really good, too. And, uh, yes, I do like Modern Warfare 2 and Halo... 1, 2, and 3. ODST and Halo War sucks, but other than those two, everything in Halo is really awesome. I'm not actually much for the modern stuff overall, though. I've just sort of grown up and, you know, grew up with old classic game systems, so that's just sort of where I've been. But I have stayed updated with stuff. I'm not stupid. I mean, you, you've you noticed that from previous RTTTA videos. I've, I've talked about new video game stuff happening. And now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's move on. Okay, this is going to be really quick, but I have to show you this. So I just happened to come across the Wikipedia homepage on an hour it was vandalized. This was a couple weeks back. It's not a big deal anymore. I'm not even sure many people noticed it in the first place. I'm probably making it a bigger deal now. But I thought it was pretty hilarious. Ralph Dewey blows up animals for Jesus. Sometimes those spammers can actually be pretty funny. I hate to feed the trolls as they say not to do on the internet, but that is pretty dang funny right there. <laughs> and we move on. And now we go to question of the week. Now, I actually have a couple of questions of the weeks. Question... How would you say that? I think plural would be questions of the week. Yes, that's it, that's it. I probably won't edit that out. I think it's funny when I screw this stuff up and put it on here. So, first question of the week. Both questions of the week this week are related to our channel. First off, I've been really interested in applying for YouTube partnership, and I'm wondering if it's a good idea to do so or not. I've read advantages, disadvantages, blogs on what people think about applying for YouTube partnership. There are advantages, there are disadvantages, but overall it's, it's been convincing me I really want to apply for YouTube partnership. But I want to see what you think, so comment in the section below on what you think about me and Chase 
uh, and our channel applying for YouTube partnership. If we do any copyrighted stuff, we'll probably be dumped into a second channel and we will have to delete it on here. That possibly means I will have to get rid of dubstep music at the end of the RTTTA videos. Aww, we're getting rid of dubstep music? Yes, we are. But you know what? It's just dubstep music. It's just at the end of my video. It's only like 10 seconds long. Anyway, you can just search it up, uh, you know, in the top search thing up above and find yourself some Skrillex awesomeness if you really want to listen to dubstep. So, Whatever. And my second question of the week is, you know, I've been thinking about changing our name from GC Waves to something else, and Chase has been agreeing with me. It's sort of a weak and cheesy name, so we've been trying to come up with something. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night about a week ago, couldn't get back to sleep, and randomly came up with the idea of combining my studio name, and basically my name, and his studio name, which is also basically his name. I first started off with Gare Race, but it ended up sounding more like Grace when I said it fast. G-R-A-S-E rather than G-R-A-C-E. And uh, I thought it was sort of cool. Um, well, I, I would probably call it Grace Productions, but I want to know, do you like that or do you still think GC Waves is a better name? Comment on that in the section below. And remember, you can always request uh, what you want me to talk about next. And I do remind you that I do have a new episode of RTTTA every Saturday, and sometimes a semi-episode like Creepers and Hoodies and, you know, the older stuff like how to get a top comment, that type of semi-episode on Wednesdays. So if you enjoy this show and you want to see more of this, just click that subscribe button and magic will appear. You will be able to see my videos every Saturday, or Wednesday, or even my official, as I like to call it, Gare Art Studios videos that I do with my friends other days, whenever I feel like putting them up. So yeah, this has been RTTTA, and I leave you with one word. Farewell.